Okay, here we are in Chapter 37, basically World War II. We're at the uh, the last uh, heading, which is basically neither war nor peace, and now we're at the last subheading, which is the global reconstruction and the United Nations. So where we last left was that um, World War II is over, the Soviets and the United States have met in Germany, and just like they had discussed before World War II, uh, they don't directly attack each other. Um, but there is definitely a Cold War starting. So although they're not fighting each other directly, they are going to be fighting each other indirectly for the next about 50 years or so. Now, one of the first ways they do this is through money. And I have mentioned how Truman has started the Truman Doctrine, which is the uh, idea of containment. And the idea that they first say is, so we're not going to fight each other directly, but we are going to indirectly. So the United States is not going to fight the Soviets um, on the battlefield but they're going to try to fight the Soviet Union in the hearts and minds of people who are deciding whether to become uh, capitalist democracies or whether they're going to become communists. And the biggest way to do this is with the U.S. Secretary of State at first, George C. Marshall, who essentially is going to save, uh, save us in the very beginning with this idea of the Marshall Plan, which is the idea that, hey, if you need help to rebuild after World War II, and let's face it, after World War II, who doesn't need to rebuild? The United States will give you um, will give you essentially loans to do so. And they're not going to do it just for allies. They're going to make it available to anybody. So, of course, the countries which first jump onto this are the U.S. allies, um, who are able, who, and the Marshall Plan is going to give about $13 billion to reconstruct Western Europe. Now, realizing that they can't be outdone by that, uh, the Soviet Union is going to establish their own version of the Marshall Plan called the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance, known as Comic-Con. Not that Comic-Con, a different one. Anyway, and that's the same idea. It's like, hey, you're providing this, so we're going to provide this as well. If anybody needs to to, to uh, need help to rebuild after World War II, the communists are willing to give you loans as well. Another way that we're going to start to have the battle lines drawn up here is the United States is also going to create something called NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, with um, the United States, with Britain, uh, basically with uh, with Western Europe. And basically this idea is, is, hey, if the Soviets or the communists attack any of these countries, then the United States and the rest of NATO is going to go all in. So it's the same alliances that got us in trouble with World War One and World War II. We're doing it again. And a part of this NATO is going to be West Germany is going to be a part of this as well. That's going to be really important when we when we get to the next chapter. And not to be outdone, the same thing happens with the Soviets. The Soviets are going to create something uh, which is going to be the Warsaw Pact, which is basically the same thing as Eastern Europe and Soviet Union. If anybody attacks any of us, all of us are going to go all in. So we're going to have this really this, this battle line very clear that, hey, if one side attacks the other, everybody and we're going to be right back into where where we were with world war ii okay now how do we avoid world war ii well one of the things that the the powers agreed to ahead of time was this idea of a united nations a league of nations except this hopefully to be much more successful and so what it's going to be really focused on it's going to be dedicated to keeping world peace okay now for this to work it can't be pro-communist. It can't be pro-democratic uh, capitalism, although both sides are going to try to use it for, for that method. And so what we're going to have is we're going to have this spot where essentially, where essentially uh, the different countries of the world can work together and try to hammer out their problems in ways outside of the battlefield. It's not like, um, it's not like war goes away. It's not like that secret treaties go away. But at least is going to be a place where um, where the United States, the Soviets, any other nation can bring things forward, and we can try to avoid a huge, massive war. War is coming, but unfortunately not on the level of what World War II or World War One that we saw. And with that, there's Chapter Thirty Seven.